Well, so I uh, put a little gauge in line and uh, this might be the problem after all. A little too much pull pressure. It's still, I do not understand why in the hell it just fired right up on me with the mumps. Sitting here on land, I can run it. It's not stalling out. As soon as I put it in the water, <laughs> then it freaking almost dies instantly. I mean, it just starts flooding so bad. So what I figured out was once I put the gauge in line and I would crimp off the hose a little to kind of regulate it, I would drop from nine and I would come all the way down in the four and a half range and that's when the motor would just start cleaning up and idling really good and as soon as I would let off the line it would jump back up in the nine range of course jumping but I could tell it was around nine average and uh, when I cut and, and then it would start idling really bad again like it was loading up so then I would go over and cut the key off when I came back of course the needle had settled right on nine and little by little, it was dropping off real slow, and I could hear the fuel dripping in, you know, and see the smoke or whatever, fog coming out. So I know it was sitting there flooding. So now I put a regulator in line. We're going to pull it back over there and try it, and if that fixes it, then we'll be going over to the lake and try it, a close nearby lake, instead of going all the way back over to the coast see how she does and then I'll get that prettied up later or whatever or figure out whatever I'm gonna do if I need to replace the pump even though that is a new Carter unit it's just putting out too much I thought seven was the max and it's pumping out over nine so I don't know that I want to leave the regulator in line or not or just get the right pump again you know, a new pump that's <clears throat> not acting up like that one is even though that was a marine unit you know for the the Merc Cruiser 350. Let's see what she does. Now that's a shame. Talk about poor craftsman workmanship. So the friggin' new uh, regulator I got here was working okay as far as the pressure got it down good and had it where it was running pretty good it seemed like. But steady leaking and dripping fuel. And what it is, these damn fittings to screw in um they're not a tapered fit. They just screw in smooth the whole way until, boom, this hex head hits. You can see it's not machined good enough to let it go past it. What ridiculous shit, man. It won't tighten anymore because it's hitting the body. And so then, of course, it was just leaking fuel even though I've got, you know, like, piped open on it or whatever. So I'm about to take these out because they're tapered I'm going to see if they'll screw in and stop before they, uh, the, the hex hits the body and I'll just do away with the gauge altogether I don't really need it I seen that <clears throat> setting this on three was about four and a half or five on the gauge there so at least I know just keep it around that three mark okay so a holes at Mr. Gasket do not put this style put this style see how that screws in nice nice and tight without bottoming out up against the body because it's a tapered fit jeez oh uh, well what do you know with my with the old fittings i got from desmond thank you desmond they uh no leak no more leaking and I'm just going to run this for right now. It ain't the prettiest, but I don't have any tubing cutter. I don't want to really cut the uh, metal line that goes down to the pump while I'm out on vacation like this. The main thing is there's no leaks. I can tell a big difference in the way it's running now. It's a lot smoother. I might even be able to turn the idle down a hair. Now the big thing was when I would cut it off like this, and then coming back over and hitting the key, I would have to give a throttle. This is no throttle, just key. A lot better. A lot better. I just hope it doesn't when we're out on the water. All right, we're 
down here. It's Lake Hancock. And uh, me and Jasper about to because good news, it seems to be running good so far, taking it off the trailer and all. So I have never been to this lake and uh, doesn't look like something I would normally put my boat in. But I do want to try it out before I get over there and taking it all the way to the coast again and just to find out there's a problem. But I'm really hoping and praying here. Come on. Let's see, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. If she'll stay like that, I'll be happy. Come on, boy. Let's go for a ride.